Hey, hey! Welcome to Coloring with Vicky. I'm so happy to see you here today. Um, on today's video, I will show you all of my finished diamond paintings of 2021. So, first and foremost, I'm wishing Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you had a nice start into our new adventure, <laughs> which is called 2022. So, I have mm, around seven, eight uh, diamond paintings that I finished. And I just finished the last one yesterday. <clears throat> and uh, I started, I have been collecting diamond painting for more than a year now, maybe one and a half years. And I started diamond painting around August um, after um, the birth of, of our first son. And I'm usually a coloring girl. I like to color. My channel is 90% about coloring, water coloring, <clears throat> you know, everything artsy. And I found that um, the baby was two months old around then, that diamond painting is something I can do in my living room, um, you know, on an easel while watching TV or while the baby is sleeping. So I'm near the baby. I don't have to go upstairs to color. And I don't need so much <laughs> brain to, to do diamond painting. So that's why I opted for doing diamond painting um, in the last half of the year. And I am absolutely addicted. I, I love it. Um, and I did a, a round one before um, doing my second uh, Milky Way uh, Galaxy painting. And this is a square one. So yeah, let's just crack into it. This one is Milky Way Galaxy from Diamond Art Club. And this is a really huge one for me. It was a huge one for me because this is my first square I did ever. So it, it is quite an undertaking <laughs> for my first square. I, I chose something really confetti heavy. A look at these colors and this painting was that absolutely um, pulled the trigger for me I was unsure if I want to diamond paint but when I saw this one on you know on the website I was like oh, okay every help is too late I have to get some diamond paintings so Mm, this is, uh, let me see the size, uh, 56 by 67, wait now, no, <laughs> no, 76 uh, centimeter uh, diamond painting. And as I told you, it's a square and it has some beautiful ABs here in the middle. And this took me... A lot of time two months maybe three uh, because I like to do squares um, single placed and I love to use my tweezer although I have to change it and uh, use my drill pan because tweezers get you know hurt after a time so okay as you can see a lot of um, purple purplish blues blues confetti heaven everywhere and there are a lot of white ABs all these whites are ABs in the picture and the other AB was these um, orange ones in the middle of the stone arc and we have a lot of things oops <laughs> yeah okay so, took a lot of time, labor of love, but really cheerful colors. For my second diamond painting, I needed something fun and easy and fast after my Milky Way one. 
This is Snow Queen by Diamond Art Club. A moment of appreciation. Look at all those ABs. Wow. So this one is discontinued. Unfortunately, this is by uh, Mandy Manzano and this is a really long one, uh, 42 by 97, nearly a meter long diamond painting. This is a round one and I pepped it up because I found that there weren't enough white ABs um, given uh, for the painting. Uh, there were only some in her um, hair and in her dress and I found we need some <clears throat> ABs in the snow, in the snowflakes, crystals and that's what I did and I'm so happy I did because look at those shiny drills. And the dress, the details in the dress is absolutely amazing, look. Wow. I enjoyed this area with the dress the most. And I absolutely love the transitions from white, light blue to dark blue and black. Just so relaxing to see your page come to life. So if you love blues and you have it in your stash, consider yourself lucky because this is absolutely amazing. Third finished project for the year was a Dimitra Milan picture running the distance um, also from Diamond Art Club. This is a square one, 74 by 56 centimeter, pretty large. Um, and I have to tell you guys that the, all the, the Dimitra Milan ones are my favorite <clears throat> pieces of all time. I'm absolutely addicted. I found that I, I tend to choose uh, portraits and you know fantasy images um, instead of landscapes. You have to be in the mood for a landscape. But look at these absolutely amazing pastel colors and the blues. So this took me a month more or less and it has black ABs in the hair and in her eyelashes. It has um, white ABs in the middle, in the clouds, and here. So all in the center of the page. And um, this had mainly new drills in it. So um, there were some old drills um as well but they were mixed with the new ones so this was a joy to work on but i remember that all the browns and greens were mainly uh, new avs <clears throat> there were some older ones in the blues look at that wolf oh my goodness And it's so realistic looking as well. So this painting had um, a nice <clears throat> mixture of confetti, but also color blocking and a nice array of colors, a lot of colors, 63 colors in total. So I was, I did not have a second where I was bored. So that's great. And that's what I prefer, you know, a healthy mix of confetti and color blocking. 
and I also did this um, using a tweezer or you know doing it in singles using single placing because that's what relaxes me the most um, when I work with squares Or <clears throat> third finish of the year, surprise, another Dimitra Milan one. Um, this is also from Diamond Art Club, and this one is a round image, and it's 56 by 74 centimeter large. Although um, this is a round painting, it took me <laughs> a lot of time because it has a crazy amount of colors in it 66 colors Woo. so um i liked it but i came to realize that one i'm not really fond of all the gray colors on the image so you may ask well, then why did you choose this one because the tiger is absolutely mesmerizing um and second, yeah, so see, lots of grays, not really my jam. Uh, and um, changing all the colors, you know, always um, changing and putting down all those different colors felt like I was doing a square one, which was, you know, a little bit surprising because it was not what I expected. But... On the other hand, the rendering is beautiful. I was surprised that there are purples um, in the tiger, but it looks really great. So purple, red, even pink. I wasn't ex expecting that. And the tiger is my favorite uh, part of this image. It's so beautiful. Yeah, a moment of appreciation. <laughs> Look at those colors. I will bring you in closer. Look. Isn't it amazing? Wow. And I also love the flowers and the, the colors in here. Absolutely beautiful. And the skin tone is amazing too. So, steadfast heart. And fifth finish, another Dimitra, which is Abundant Dreams. Again, Diamond Art Club. Uh, 56 by 56 centimeters and round. Again, this is a crazy confetti heavy piece look here all confetti and here look confetti confetti and confetti um one of my favorite pieces this year because these colors are <laughs> my essence i love these colors uh, I absolutely enjoyed this area here, the the mermaid colors and the pastel pinks. <clears throat> Those were absolutely amazing. And although you would think this would take a lot of time because it's a smaller one, it did. Again, 59 colors, 4 ABs, loved it. So, if you're looking for a quick piece, this is not a quick piece, at least not for me. Um, yeah, let's take a closer look at the confetti heaven here. Look. Mm. Here too, confetti. This here, look, AB on AB on AB. 
so freaking sparkly here too a b heaven oops sorry for the noise such a masterpiece in my opinion wow stunning seventh finish of the year is hope runs deep by diamond art club and this is a round one um, running the distance and this hope runs deep are my absolutely favorite finishes of the year the colors are just bonkers in here i did this um, during the advent season and i had a blast wow and i have wanted um, this page since last Christmas so the moment it came back in stock I was like okay baby I'm coming mama is coming for you don't worry <laughs> I just mean the rendering the details the colors amazing and it was a quick one um, because there is a lot of color blocking in here like this area is color blocking so confetti heavy area here and the houses were quite confetti heavy and the bridge but the lower part had a pretty decent amount of color block blocking too uh, 49 colors um, we have uh, three ABs white orange and um, pink like a purplish pink no 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 yeah light light purple color rather so the whole church is outlined with white ABs that sparkle whoa see and the roofs have a lot of purple see ABs here oh, absolutely splendid oh, I just can't stop gushing about this image <clears throat> sorry I'm just totally addicted to my drills right here and so funny although this is a you know a snowy landscape you would expect a lot of white ab's and um there isn't any only a cream cream color no white ab not no white drills just some white ab's and the uh, cream drills but no white which is just so so stunning oh, yeah and done and done gushing last finish of the year is a snack size canvas i choose pretty in pink uh, 52 by 42 um, centimeters this image has 37 colors and uh, three ABs. So let's see. I love the beautiful cherry colors and the reflection, the details of the reflection here. The bottom, beautiful. Um, this has a lot of blues light blues in it so we have white abs here 
in the middle of the router some here and here as well so um, I bought this um, when it came back in stock um, around September I believe and this has a pretty nice amount of new drills so it was really great to work with I love the new drills the blacks are totally new the pinks and the reds have the new drills um, and also the greens were were the new drills it has color blocking here in the middle but also some crazy confetti here and here for example see and confetti oh, I love the shine so the one thing I find I think um, during the process I found that hmm, not many ABs um, really just a few green um, ABs we have uh, two ABs a light green and a darker green one and we have white and I felt like hmm, not many but when it's finished I don't need more ABs I believe it has this image has the right amount of ABs I love the rendering um, it's just perfect the way it is so I'm so happy I got this one and although it's a uh, snack size it took me quite a while because a lot of confetti in here so this is the last finish for 2021 I had a blast um, diamond painting what do you do while you diamond paint I mean do you listen to audio books or podcasts what are you doing or watching a series I um, just became acquainted with the word of pod podcasting um, this year um, so I'm listening to a lot of true crime podcasts, paranormal podcasts. It's just super relaxing for me and entertaining as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I mainly do. And if I had to choose between just rounds or just squares, I think I would use uh, squares. I love I love them both, but just the beautiful image you get with the squares is just wow so realistic and yeah but I tend to use and do one square and one round um, interchangeably because I tend to get overwhelmed with square or you know after a time you feel like oh I'm so slow and um, changing to rounds makes me feel fast again and feel like you know I'm accomplishing something so I find that the mixture of doing both squares and rounds is the best uh, for my process what do you like to do do you work on one uh, one canvas at a time or do you have more more than one or do you like to change between round and squares please let me know in the comments below I would love to know how you how you work with diamond painting so yeah thank you so much for watching um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I'm wishing everyone a happy new year and all the best Stay safe, take care, and thank you so much for being here today. Bye bye. Bye bye. Feel it. It's like I can't.